I'm honored that you should come to me. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. He next shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Saradza Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off, and tell me where your son is right now. I apologize if I offended you, young man. But still, I don't know where Hinek is. He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? Uh. What? <sighs> Look. It's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. It doesn't have to be that way. If Hinnick cooperates, he can save his neck. I can't say you put my mind at ease, but to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like, like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there, is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? I'd like to talk to you about your... I'm very busy. Do you at least know any friends he's with, or someone he goes to see? As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. 
maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he has to go to the baths. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say. Yeah. God preserve you, good knight. Can I do something for you? I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. I have seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. Look, Hinek's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like hares, or other game. So Hinnick is a poacher? That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding, in the western corner. All right, thank you. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is... I felt a bit sorry for him. I heard they don't like him because he keeps company with villains. True enough. But they didn't like him before that either. Or me. They're close-minded yokels. Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinnick thinks differently, but that's how it goes. I found out that Hinnick goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um. Don't worry. Hinnick has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught. And he never came to me at other times. 
probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up, but who could he sell it to? The inn For sure. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction, anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. What? Because he no, always we... brought me freshly chopped firewood, and he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. Take care. I'm honored that you should come to me. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. And ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Riki. Really? I heard a different story. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I... I've no time for this. I have to find Hinek and you're going to help me. Am I now? Even... This is a nice alehouse you have here. It would be a shame if anything happened to it. <laughs> what do you think? So are you going to talk? Or do I have to buy him? Let's get to the point then. Do you know? Yeah, there's a will. I did some deals with Vicky. But I... I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But... But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry has something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Take care now.
Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me, I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone, I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Lipo. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. Well, save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine then. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there. Mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy, I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're gonna rob a farm, he says. Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods. And I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt. And Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? 
On the way to Noyev, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smill, Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Runt turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go, so we scarp him. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Run. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them and we all took to our heels. Luckily they were so buggered from the raid they didn't follow us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... people. We've got to get out of here. No, they're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I suppose you're right. What's going on there? Who's the... You're in the oh, wrong no. place at the wrong time. You'll get one. Well. 